Hey, good morning, Mint Valley. So guess what, guys? It's December. Well, tomorrow will be December. And that means we have a new trait that we're going to be learning about for the month of December. And that is responsibility, being responsible. So because we're back in remote learning um, and you're not coming in in person, we will hopefully be able to see you in Zooms to talk about our learnings for this um, month. But this week's book is called A Little Spot. Remember our friend, A Little Spot? Well, this time he's going to teach us about responsibility. So this is by, uh, written and illustrated by Diane Albert. And it's a story about making good choices because that's what being responsible is all about. So let's get started. Hi, my name is Spot. I'm not just any ordinary Spot. I'm a little Spot of responsibility. I'm here to help you make good choices. Huh, I've never seen a responsibility spot before. I want to make good choices. Every time you make a good choice, your responsibility spot grows. And it makes you feel more confident and happy. That's why I'm going to show you some ways you can make good choices to grow your responsibility spot. Did you, did you know you have the power to make choices? We all want to make choices that have positive outcomes. And that's why I made this little decision chart to help you. Stop and identify the problem. Gather information. Think about the positive and negative consequences. Make a choice. And then reflect on the outcome. It means think about how did it turn out. You're going to experience a lot of choices in your life. Some decisions are easy and some are not. But in order to have the best chance of making a good choice, you should try to use that decision chart. Let's see how the decision chart works on a choice you make every day, like what you should wear. Stop. You aren't sure what to wear. Information. It's pretty cold outside. If you wear shorts, you might get cold. Choice, you wore warm clothes. Reflection, it was a great choice because you weren't cold. Good job. Adults have the ability to predict consequences that you can't yet. They can do this because they've had been making choices a lot longer than you have, which gives them a lot of experience. They have a lot of knowledge that can help you make good choices. That's why it's important to consider what adults say. So if you look at my chart down here, it says babies, 1,000 plus choices. A child, 10,000 plus choices. Adults have made over 100,000 choices. And the elderly, like grandparents, have made over a million choices in their lifetime. Can I get a puppy? Sometimes you may want to take on a big task and need the help of an adult to make a choice, but they may not agree with what you want to do. It's a good choice to start off with something that doesn't require as much responsibility, like getting a plant instead of a puppy. Puppies need feeding, bathing, walking, training, etc., and your responsibility spot may not be big enough yet. Caring can grow your responsibility spot. Playing games is a lot of fun. It's a good choice to play by the rules and not cheat. Honesty can help you grow your responsibility spot. You shouldn't leave your toys out because they can get damaged easily. It's a good choice to put things back in their place and not just throw them in a closet. It lets people know that you can put things away properly. Being reliable can also grow your responsibility spot. Try to do something for someone where you don't expect something, a reward in return. It's a good choice to help clean up, even if you don't make the mess, because it's nice to help. Kindness can help you grow your responsibility spot. How did this mess get so big? I'll help you clean it up. Do you hear how some of these things are things we've already learned about? So our responsibility spots are already growing from what we've been learning prior to now. Sometimes it's easy to blame other people for the choices you make. It's a good choice to accept responsibility for your actions, even when it's hard to do. When you do this, you gain respect from others. 
Trust can help grow your responsibility spot. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to knock over the vase. Look around and be aware of your surroundings. It's a good choice to do things before you're told, like putting your toys away when you're done using them. Being proactive can help grow your responsibility spot. We all want things to last a long time and we don't want to get injured while using them. So it's a good choice to practice scissor safety, not poke holes in erasers and keep the eraser on the pencil. Respecting things can help grow your responsibility spot. Click the caps so markers and glue don't dry out. Use as instructed so they don't get damaged. Clean up your area when you're done so nothing gets lost. We heard about this in the respect book too, didn't we? About how to respect things. A calendar is a great tool to help you remember dates. It's a good choice to turn in assignments when they are due. Staying organized can help grow your responsibility spot. That's a big one right now when we're in remote learning, you guys. Showing up when you are supposed to is a great way of demonstrating you value people's time. It's a good choice to be on time to school, an event, or an activity. Being punctual can help grow your responsibility spot. When you have a lot of tasks to complete, it can be easy to forget a couple of them. It's a good choice to create a list so you can remember to complete each task you agreed to do. Being dependable can also grow your responsibility spot. And this is an example of a to-do list, which is helpful too when you're at home learning, making a list each day what you need to do for the day. Here's some examples, feed the fish, set the table, return my library books. If you're feeling pressured to do something you think is wrong, it's a good choice to say no. Courage can help grow your responsibility spot. Sometimes your emotions can get pretty big it's a good choice to guide your big emotions to a peaceful spot. This, is not, this not only helps you, but the others around you too. Managing your emotions can help you grow your responsibility spot. And then you might notice some zones here, green, red, blue. There are a lot of things that you can do for yourself instead of having your caregivers do them for you. It's a good choice to try and get yourself dressed Make your bed and turn off the lights. Taking initiative can grow your responsibility spot. Sometimes it's hard to remember to do things like your homework. It's a good choice to have a schedule so you know what needs to be done every day and at what time, like doing your homework as soon as you get home so you don't forget. Creating a routine can grow your responsibility spot. It's important to take care of your body. It's a good choice to eat well, keep clean, and get plenty of rest. This shows that you care about yourself. Being healthy can grow your responsibility spot. We all want to stay well. It's a good choice to cover your mouth when you cough. Be courteous to others by not spreading germs. Can grow That can grow your responsibility spot. Whew, okay, I think that's about it. I hope you enjoyed learning about how to grow your responsibility spot. I actually have some other spots I'd like you to meet too. We all belong to the happiness family. And we've already learned about some of the other spot, um, ways to be, um, a little way the little spot has taught us in some previous books. Remember, there was a lot in here. You can watch this more than one time. Note which ways, all the different ways that you can show that you're responsible. And the thing that you need to remember is every time there was the word choice, because being responsible means all about making the right choices and you have the power to do that. So as we keep learning about how to be responsible this month, tune back in next week and hopefully I'll see some of you on Zooms. Talk to you soon. Have a good day.